V6 Vortec engine just before dismantling. It's been pulled out of the boat, but it's minimal uh, dismantling of the engine so far. I'm just gonna video everything so we know where things go back together. So that was the, uh, this was the uh, uh, connection to the oil reservoir, the rear gear oil, rear gear oil reservoir. Power steering. You can see if they can get the bolts that are holding that. There's a the bracket. Uh, the power steering is held by this bracket here, which is also your idler pulley, your tensioner puller, you mean Ten tensioner pulley, and it's uh, manually tightened. You tighten it by twisting this, you twist that to tighten the belt, and then you tighten the up, tighten it up and lock it with that bolt or that nut. Power steering pump again is uh, mounted to this bracket. Um, on the back side here, there's two two nuts holding it there. And that's all I see. There's one more bolt up on the front holding it there. So that's how the power steering pump's mounted. The oil dipstick is mounted on the lower of the two water pump bolts on this side. And it's a nut on a stud. And there's nothing on the stud on the top. Nothing on the stud on this side on the top. And on the bottom is just a bolt, no stud on the water pump. Um, this is the fuel separator, water separator. And it is Can't tell if it's bent or if it's supposed to be that way, but no, the motor the motor's sitting sideways, so that's why it's kind of cocked out to the side. This is your drain for your elbow for your water. It's already been drained before it got cold. A blue plug goes back in there. Again, your oil, your excuse me, your fuel water separator. Fuel line goes on here. Fuel pump is attached to the bracket on this side let's see okay yeah the, there's a some kind of bracket there holding the fuel uh water separator there this clamp here was going up onto the exhaust riser this hose went to the exhaust riser on this side it's pulled up actually the, it was down down low down here because I pulled the hose out trying to get it out. This hose right here actually comes up and connects there. I was trying to get it out, but I didn't get, I wasn't successful. So, we back up. So coming around from the front, just come around this way. There's a blue connector here for some of the devices. That might be a electric choke, not sure. There's a connector here that's capped off. There's a, that's probably a fuse. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a fuse. I've seen those before. Not sure what this went to. It's a wire hanging loose. Just tied up, so maybe it wasn't connecting anything. This is your connector to your boat harness. Your, this was the power steering line going back. I've just got it here just on the distributor cap to keep it from leaking fuel and flopping around. That's a good convenient place to hold it. So that was the return line back to, you follow these hoses that goes back to, follow this hose, that goes back to your reservoir. It cools on the low side, the high pressure side. Comes over here, high pressure side is this hose here. And it goes to this fitting right here. So that's your high pressure hose for your power steering. Again, coming around here is your distributor. This is the Thunderbolt 5 system. And um, I think this is a ground wire. I'll, I'll get to that later when I take that off. But Thunderbolt 5 system, the connector for the Thunderbolt 5 was, is here and the actual ignition module is mounted on the exhaust riser. 
You've got a mount on the back of the carburetor for these relays and this circuit breaker. Um, so overall, it's not very complicated. Just doing a video so we can see how things go back on here. Ignition coil is mounted here. Your oil, this is your oil pressure sending in it. This is your oil pressure switch, I think, because I don't see one. Yeah, there's one there too. There's a oil, something oil there. You have oil pressure sending in it for your oil pressure in your dash or your instrument panel. And you have an oil pressure switch to operate your warning buzzer. And there's a third oil pressure device, which I'm not sure what it's for, but I'm just showing where they go. I'll have to look up what the third device is for. And that's all the way around back to the beginning. So let's see, I'll take individual shots as I remove each part off the engine.